So how far have you got with the wheel sets then? Yes, we've um, spoken to one of the firms who's got one of the big machines to do crank pins, which is the main work on the wheel set. That, that means all six crank pins need replacing, and mainly not because of the, the state of the journals, it's the, uh, the threads. They'd suffered from the time at Barry. The nuts had been removed and the threads had pretty well gone. And yeah. Chasing a new thread on a, on, on, a mach- on a crank pin is practically impossible. And so all six will be replaced, back to new standard, the journals skimmed, the inside big ends remachined, and the tyres turned. The tyre turning is the most simplest aspect of the wheel set overall. Yeah. The hardest bit is the, the crank pins. Will you send it for the turning? Will you do that at Buckfastly? Because they seem to do well, quite, I, quite a lot I, of those, I, don't I've they? Well, I've spoken when I actually had a site talk with Robbie at, at the South Devon, you know, nice enough, one of the nicest blokes in preservation, you know, and uh, we we were discussing that and he's making that a, a bread and butter job, you know. I know also, I personally know Ian Riley. I want to pop up and have a chat to him. I won't get them to fight it out amongst themselves, but really, it'll, it'll go to who, who can do it within the time scale that we yeah. would require, you know. When do you we, want to get those done by then? Because then you'll, then you'll have off. a sort of running chassis, the, won't the you? the end of this year, we'll be looking at possibly putting them on a wagon. But um, the rear end of the logo has to be riveted first. The cylinders need to be remachined and back in the frames before we can take one single measurement off the horns. Because as you imagine, as, as you split the frames at one end, with the way the uh, frame structures are, it can actually do a converse opposite effect to a, a horn. Uh, which you're trying to measure up. So you need everything solid before you, you do this. We, we're going to drill and tap and count the sink all the brass faces on the axle boxes, which is a standard thing, you know, from my time at the Seven Valley, I was standard of doing all the axle boxes. And you then either shim them, if you've got a, enough meat of, of brass there, or you have to put a brand new brass face on. But we cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, Usually you can get away with quite a bit on these things, but when we put it back together, it has to be of a standard where if Mr. Forster phones up from the West Somerset, we'd like it for our gala, it could run at at the West Somerset. We don't want to be able to say, well, it was only done to a standard to work in a little short siding. It'll be done to, you know, the recognised standards. Mm. I won't say NT276 because there's lots of things on there which you don't want to do, which you don't need to do for for preserved line. That's for the big railway. But the general standards within that um, is what most people sort of go to, like mm. you, you're running fits yeah. and all the rest of it. You know, we've we've got the Great Western limits and fits, you know, which I managed to speak to a friend of mine who worked at Swindon at the time and we were able to borrow the, the book and we copied it for ourselves. We've co- done a copy for the Seven Valley as well. And uh, that in there, it shows you every single part and what you do plus or minus. And so yeah. you get something yeah. an inch. You look at the requirement for that and that's what it'll have to be. And if it was good enough for Mr GWR, is Good enough for us. Well, mo- most of the things now, what you see a lot of groups are, are doing, I'm fairly uh, pally with uh, the lads with Dinmore Manor and Earlstock Manor especially, and like the spring hanger bolts, this is a cut for your spring hangers. We had the CNC machine by our friend Peter, and uh, it was just a billet of steel, which was used for something else. Um, it was the correct grade, we got, we got them. In the works, that would have been a pressing. But now, what you'll have done, and it takes minutes, uh, CNC in is the way. 
and we've had, yeah. we've seen the lads with Dinmore Manor. They've had their spring hanger bolts done, and and the, we've got to have them done now. They he was doing them Thursday and Friday, so hopefully later on this this week they'll be delivered and they're ready to go on the local. The only things we'll have left to do then is to have the springs made. We had a, a batch of buckles uh, made by the Seven Valley about 10 years ago and we, we went on the back of them and purchased them as a, as a part of the contract, exactly the same size as what we were doing for the fleet there, 7714 and 5764. And so we were lucky we had them all made at the same same standard yeah, yeah. and we just need the leaves making for them now and they'll go to the spring firm come back with all the certificates and so when they go on the local they'll be the business we had the rear spring which are coil ones in the cab they were all done a few years ago in exactly the same fashion when mm. there was a batch being done and really it makes it easy for everyone because it's cheaper doing a batch than just buying ones and twos when, yeah. especially when a firm has the tool up to do a job you know we've we've helped a lot of people out on this project some people didn't quite fully appreciate the help that we were doing but there we, there we go but um it it's it's all sort of coming together now anyway you see the the thing with the cylinder blocks which is difficult the main face for the two cylinder covers and the valve chest cover to machine that all in one go in situ without removing the cylinders is a extremely difficult prospect from when we had to do that at the seven valley when i was there we had to pick pretty well angle grind that with a blue input and I don't really fancy that myself, and there's no one else who could do it. Whereas you put that on a horizontal forward, you can skim across that, that'll come up as good as new, job done. So when, when's a realistic time scale for a kind of rolling chassis? Rolling chassis is yeah. going to be two years. Yeah. But once it's a rolling chassis, the boiler, it, although it may seem that it's going slowly or will all of a sudden accelerate. The boiler will actually start coming along later on really next year because the, the, the lads who's involved, gonna be involved in the boiler work, they're involved with other projects at the moment which they need to finish off and get, get going. And then we've the use of a Swindon boiler trolley which we'll mount the boiler on to, to do all the, uh, the necessary work. There's a lot of steel plate work which needs to be done on the outside from its time in Barry. You know, just sitting around there with all the muck, all chewing away at everything. The inside of the boiler wasn't cleaned out, so that actually rotted the plates on the inside just as much as the outside. And so you've got quarter inch steel, and that's not exactly a good thing for these sort of things. And most people do it now, you just lock off the bottom and replace that. And it's, it's, it's a far easier job. All the steel stays will be replaced. And like with everything else, you'll get a CNC machine steel stays done and you just have a big box full of them. We'll have a load of drilled and tapped holes and then three or four people just spend a few hours screwing them all in. And you, 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 there's, a, there's a, a length you have to do on the inside and it's all to do with your, your nut which some people think that it's the nut is structural, but the nut is there purely to stop the end of the stay from mm. burning, mm. you know. And uh, once all the stays are in there, then our, our friend uh, who's a biosmith will come down, he'll, as a part of a contract, he'll spend a couple of days just knocking them all over. You know, we'd rather have the skilled people do their stuff and we pay that and we do the simple stuff, you know, you don't really want a skilled boiler smith just screwing stays in. Mm, He's got to yeah. be bored stiff doing yeah. that. He'll do the more media jobs, which it takes a bit of edge scratching. The same with the machining, you know, some of the machining you want, the machinist to be doing the complicated jobs. 
and the simpler jobs, the CNC machine will just, you press a button, you walk away and you'll be doing something else like, you know. So, in your own mind, when do you think I, you might get close to I've se- get I said to it? someone yesterday, five years, someone Facebooked me, oh, when would you like that? I said, five years, and I'd like to like it to be less than that. Because, mm-hmm. you know, you've got some shareholders saying, will I see it in my lifetime? <laughs> and that goes for everything. I know of, of logos where people were heavily involved with getting them out of Barry, and unfortunately, they passed away yeah, before they were yeah. running. Some logos, which, you know, the likes of Earlstoke Manor and things like that. 4150, I know lots of people involved with that. And, uh, you know, there, there's one, one guy who's jumping up and I want to see it running, you know. And uh, you can't blame them. But uh, it, it's, it's so frustrating when literally it's the, 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 the time scale of the money, the finance. If you can crack that, if you can get the confidence of your shareholders to, oh, I'll buy another share, I'll, I'll put another £10 a month or £5 a month, so I'll in, increase my shareholding, fantastic. So how do, how do you stand with the money now? How much more do we're you think doing, you need? We're doing quite well. Once we get the cil- cylinder block out, yeah. that's, fingers crossed, if, if I've worked out what I think it's going to cost, if when I speak to the contractors, it's going to be a similar figure. If they're going to be co- quoting a lot more, then I'm going to be knocking on other people's doors. Mm. Just because someone's on a railway, um, I'll be look, looking after my shareholders' interests more than anything, because me, as I am now, I'm just a shareholder of this, you know, and I have to do that as part of the job. But there will be times when we'll be doing a, a job lot of components and it's in a railway's interest to be part of that. And so if you're doing three or four logos and that particular railway's machine in them and, and they're all doing a good, good price, yeah, great, no problem at all with that. And uh, as we go along, we look at similar projects where we can jump on the back of that to, to make a a bigger contract of whichever component that they're having mm. um, made at the time, you know. 